Hey everyone, so today I am making the taco trophy or nyak trophy. So first off I'm going to be making the base, so I've just poured over some Bacon Bond, which is a Sculp Super Sculpey brand. And of course I'm using Super Sculpey clay, which is an oven baked clay. So the Bacon Bond just makes sure the clay sticks to the surface once it bakes. Think of it as a glue because that's what it is. So I've run my clay through the pasta maker and now I'm just smoothing out the surface. So I'm using a Pistachosaurus, I've butchered that. <laughs> I'm using a Pistacho... Yeah, that, that word. Sculpture. <laughs> From a brand I can't say the name of either. It's Swoosh? Yeah, I'm butchering both names. I'm sorry. Anyway, now I'm traced in the foot. The footprint. Now I'm just indenting it in to try and create the impact effect. So this is a handy little scrapey tool. Just scrapes and cuts the clay off. Really good for scooping out um, like making riverbeds and stuff like that or footprints in this case. Makes nice little shavings too, kind of like those yummy chocolate shavings that they sprinkle on cakes. Now I'm indenting the sort of pad, foot pad imprints that the foot would have, because they would go deeper. So I'm trying to envision where it would be on a dinosaur. using tools for not their purpose. <laughs> Testing out the placement now, trying to figure out how I want this taco, <laughs> taco to sit on the base. Once I'm happy with his placement, I really push him in so I can sort of save his footprints. And I'm cutting off the edges now to neaten it all up. Now these are my two-part epoxy rocks, so I usually make these from leftover two-part epoxy when I'm sculpting, so nothing gets wasted. So now I've just got to pick them out from a pile I have and I'm just adding them here. I'm using a bit of bacon bond to secure them to the clay. Now I'm using the taco to imprint some more put footprints, so to sort of create a story as if this is the path he walked and maybe that was the path his friend walked. This is my little stamp tool to put my signature into my tools. I got it off Etsy. I think it's 3D printed. Now I'm just adding some more rocks. And one of the rocks was polymer clay, so I'm just getting some sandpaper to imprint some rock texture to it. Just hammering down the rocks to make sure they stick. <laughs> Painting time. So we're starting off with a earth tone sort of red as a base coat. That brain, brown stain in the corner, I, um, I spilt one of my washes painting the chibi hypocano. <laughs> it went everywhere. So now I'm 
going in with a darker brown to create some shadows and some depth and wet mud look. So you can see I'm sort of going in with the thicker amount of paint at the tip of the toes and I'm dragging it across in a sort of a dry brush effect. as they push off the ground for the next step dig in deeper so I assume that it would be deeper and wetter at the tips of the toes if that makes sense. Now I'm dry brushing some lighter colours over to bring really bring out the different textures I have going on. I knocked the poor taco over. <laughs> texture paint. So this is a Citadel sort of mud paint. It has like a very muddy wet texture to it and when it dries it looks like wet gritty mud. It's very useful for creating effects around riverbeds and in this case around a footprint to create a really gritty mud wet look. Fantastic stuff really. Here I'm using a silicone tool to sort of place it down. I'd wreck my brush if I used a brush. I have done that, much regret. You can see I've base coated the taco white as well. Now I'm just going over with some grey to paint the rocks. I brushing it on the footprint because I would imagine there was grass there before the creature took a step. So the grass would still be there even though it's squished into the mud. And now I'm going in with the darker green. grass essentially. I'm trying it out to see how it works on my sculptures. So I'm just gluing it down with some Yoohoo glue and I'm going in with some light green just to mesh it into the base a bit better. Okay so question of the day. How long does it take me to make one of these? So if we're going off a sculpture like the Gaming Beavers Hypersponio, it roughly takes me about two to three weeks. This is due to the fact that I have a day job outside of my sculptures that takes up a lot of time. If we cancelled out my day job, it would take me roughly about a week. So yeah, if you have any questions for me, um, wait for my post on Instagram. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. Now I'm using Mod Podge as a glue base for my texture grass that I usually use for my bases. of fake plant, I think it's fake lavender, and I'm just snipping up to be ferns essentially, because the leaves look like ferns to me. So I'm drilling the hole and then gluing them in place. I'll be 
put in a green wash over them too to give more texture and depth to them, to the plants that is. So there's the base all done. Now to time to paint the taco. I'm not going to try and say that word again because I've already shamed myself. So I'm doing a light cream coat to start. gone in with a yellower cream and now I'm going in with a darker brown. For a brown critter this taco does have a lot of shades. Well the taco in the game has a lot of different colours and shades to him. Quite beautiful actually. tried to do it all in one go I'd end up smudging the spots so I had to just do it in parts and there were so many spots so many stripes and you had to constantly reference it because if you didn't reference it it just wouldn't look right there's a very particular way to their chaotic looking pattern there was definitely a pattern to the chaotic look very effective though, just time consuming to paint. together a bit better, darken him all up and bring out all these little features and muscle tones. A wash is basically just a watered down acrylic but I buy my washes pre-made, you can make them yourself. like it's just freshly rained. So this is of course UV resin, my favourite kind of resin to use. So I'm going in with a silicon tool here just to spread the resin out sort of make it more puddle-like because the UV resin kind of bubbles in the area that you pour it unless you spread it out if that makes sense now I'm using my UV torch just to set the resin I hope you 
you enjoyed the video of the making of the Nyak or Taco Trophy. Um, and Thomnia is hopefully holding an event for the Taco Trophy. I've put it forward to him as a suggestion and he seems quite excited. I'm excited to hold another event where you can potentially win this guy by playing the game. So keep your ears out for how that will happen. Um, yeah, I'm still also holding a Patreon giveaway. So of the Chibi Hypo Giga, if you're interested, please head on over to my Patreon where you can support me buying better equipment and making bigger and better trophies with more better materials. So yeah, I'll see you in the next video where of course I'm making Anthomnia's Nicta Tyrannus, which makes sound, it glows in the dark, it has lava that lights up, big trophy that shows off all my bells and whistles that I can do. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!